I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger. How have you redefined the word actor into a whole new meaning? And seeing you go against a fucking airplane is one of the reasons why I enjoy your movies. And welcome to my review for the last stand. Arnold Schwarzenegger's return back to the big screen since Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines. And is it effing I cracked up to be? Is it effing that I want it to be? Interesting. <laughs> um, I saw this movie in the cinemas uh, Thursday. It's only recently just come out in the UK. And what, what have I got to say about it? What, what do I think about it? It's exactly what it says on the tin. It is a fun action movie that offers a lot of really cool uh, one-liners, it offers a really cool action scenes, a lot of cool chases and uh, fighting and gunplay. Thomas Schwarzenegger kicking ass, uh, you know, lots of guns, lots of explosions and lots of old school practical effects and lots of blood scrapes. It's just like, yay, kind of thing, you know, it's just a very easy, very fun movie to watch. And that's what I'm going to talk about in this review, so let's talk about The Last Stand. It's showtime. So something the last stand follows Arnold Schwarzenegger as the sheriff in this little, little small little town uh, just before the Mexican border, a fugitive, he's basically on the run to this little town, he's going to pass through this town, and Arnold Schwarzenegger gets wind of it, and things, things start to happen, start, events start to happen, people get, to get killed off and stuff, and basically he says, Don't let them come through town without a fight. And it is exactly what you see in the actual trailer, except just a couple of uh, cool, some of the coolest scenes that's left within the actual in the movie, which I'm really really happy about. If we ask, the storyline is very very basic. You know, you do not expect an Oscar worthy performance, do not expect an Oscar worthy script or dialogue. It's very easy to watch. Don't bullshit me. Of textbook characters, nothing amazing, nothing really different. Uh, the only two characters that I probably liked in this entire movie is Arnold Schwarzenegger and uh, Johnny Knoxville character as the kind of that crazy kind of nutter guy which is just he's a really good character in this movie I think he's really funny the rest of the cast also I think is just you know very easily forgettable you know tries to be funny in some bits but the comedy doesn't work really well with some of their scenes and dialogue so it's a bit of hit and miss comedy here and there uh, Forrest Wiggers also in this movie he plays the FBI um, he has more in this movie than I thought he would have done due to the trailer He's in it quite a bit, but I felt his character was a bit just there kind of thing. You know, he wasn't really doing much, to be perfectly honest. He's, kind of, he's a character that's chasing him down the start of the movie and comes back in later on, later on in the movie, but, you know, kind of interacts a couple of scenes here and there with Arnold Schwarzenegger's character. You never know. What you get with this movie is exactly what it says in the tin. It is a very easy, very fun action movie, entertaining, you know, it's nothing amazing special, it's nothing, you know, amazingly original, it's nothing, you know, different in the sense. Well, the only thing I'm going to give it praise for, it has got the director from I Saw the Devil, which is an absolutely fantastic Korean movie, very violent, very nasty movie, and it's his kind of perception on an American action movie, which uh, I think he does a really good job in doing something a slightly different than the typical kind of action movie. Uh, what makes this movie rememberable is the fact of certain characters I'm also watching John Knoxville and the director, and some of the action scenes and some of the car chases and angles will make it really, really interesting and exciting, and uh, some really wow scenes and some really awesome scenes are really in this movie. And that's what you get, pretty much. You know, I absolutely love the car chase stunt scenes. I think they're some of the best uh, kind of you know, camera angles and stuff I've seen in a very, very long time. Um, I love the uh, action scenes, the gun scenes, especially the town fight kind of thing, where he's got all the weapons and the machine guns luring down the snipers. And, you know, I love Arnold Schwarzenegger's uh, kind of uh, performance in this in terms of, like, just, you know, fun, in a sense. Um, being in the fact that this is one of his combat movies since, you know, Terminator 3, or if you just include the cameo within the Expendables 2, this is his movie which is just mainly him in a sense. And his character is basically, he was like a, an ex special forces kind of guy, yeah, as you typically were. And he comes to a small town course in Mexico, he just comes to shower, he doesn't really want to do this anymore, he's too old in a sense. And he just, you know, he has a lot of more standards. And I like the fact that Arnold Schwarzenegger, his character is not invincible like he is in, say, Commander or Eraser or any of the other movies that he's done. Cheering me on! He gets beaten, he gets shot, he gets stabbed, he gets beaten the shit into. His character is very vulnerable and he does his best 
as an actual as an actual sheriff to try and stop his people and he does to the best of his ability and he gets really injured really fast and um, being the fact that he is old I don't think they've really played upon it massively I mean I know some reviewers have said like you know he's you know they show him being really old and then they take the piss out of that but to be honest there's only two scenes I can think of which they actually said you know the one is actually said goes for the actual wind he says you know I'm old and that's it and then when he says I'm too tired for this kind of thing you know you lie what's like about this movie is the practical effects you can see a lot of uh, actual blood scripts and lots of blood packs and especially when people get shot in the head blood was everywhere kind of thing it's all over the walls it goes over the uh, you know, clothes and that type of stuff and there's a really awesome scene where Arnold Schwarzenegger just, you know, just goes on top of the roof basically chucks the guy shoots him in the bloody head and then crashes down on him that is an awesome scene there were some awesome guns and there's some awesome weapons machine guns kind of knives there's bloody you know, flare guns there's all sorts of really, really cool stuff which you go yeah this is awesome yeah Arnold Schwarzenegger puts up a really good fight and you know even though he does a good fight scene he gets really run away he gets really injured really fast you know he gets stabbed he gets you know knocked down he gets you know beaten but he uses his muscle strength to try and knock him down and he's really trying hard to try and take this guy down and you know it, you know it's that type of thing I'm look I really really enjoyed watching on sports like do on screen I like his character uh, I like John Nichols character also I think he's really good and we have another crazy guy in his nightingale and jeans and stuff and he just I love it he's little, he's little lines also I think he's really really funny and all that. Uh, acting in this movie is very average don't expect Oscar winning out don't expect Oscar in performances like I said Arnold Schwarzenegger and John Maxwell are basically the main two actors that I thought were the best uh, Forrest Walker he's not particularly anything to do in the movie he, he's basically a typical FBI agent that's kind of, he wants the gut to get the catch the guy but doesn't of course you know it's mainly Arnold Schwarzenegger and John Knoxville they're the two main stars in this movie in my opinion the rest of the cast are kind of you know hit and miss characters the comedy works in some places the comedy works is, doesn't work in other places you know there's some predictable stuff happens in the movie which you're going to guess very easily but don't go in this movie yeah, in a serious mind Go in this movie, you know, take some friends with you, go and enjoy this movie, have a bit of a laugh, just 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 chill out and enjoy the movie. So I'm gonna give the last stand a hit or a miss. So that's been my review on the last stand. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Have you seen the last stand? What did you think? Comment down below, let any opinions. Did you think the honest what's name was pretty decent in this movie? Do you think the action scenes were good? What do you think of the director? Uh, do you think this was one of the worst movies this year? I know some people think this is absolutely terrible. Love to know your opinions, comment down below. And in the meantime, I do to be. Bullshit. 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 Bullshit.